Hey guys, these are my predictions for the AQA B1 2016 paper. So first of all, I'm not an examiner, I don't have any insider knowledge, I don't know for certain what is going to come up on the exams, and also I don't teach biology, so I'm not as familiar with everything, I don't have like a gut feeling like I do for chemistry and physics, but I have gone through all the papers, I've spent a lot of time researching, I've spent a lot of time thinking about this, and these are my predictions for this year. But they are just predictions, so you shouldn't only revise the things that I say in here, you should revise everything and you should revise everything thoroughly. One thing the examiners love doing every single year is experimental questions. Either giving you an experiment you've done before, so something like quadrats, or plating out bacteria so you don't get a contaminated culture, and then giving you graphs, getting you to work out your variables, getting you to work out the means, finding the anomalies, spotting patterns in things. And one thing they might do with this is throw in a lot of unfamiliar words. So maybe an unfamiliar drug that you haven't covered just to see how good you are at spotting patterns or spotting anomalies. They love asking questions about ethics, and there is so much ethical stuff that comes up in B1. We've got drug trials, we've got animal testing, placebos, control groups, and vaccinations. Lots and lots of stuff here that they could ask a really solid four mark question on. Because there are a lot of things that come up as four mark questions over and over and over again. So evolution comes up as a four mark question a lot. So does the nervous system. Bacterial resistance comes up as a four mark question. So does genetic modification. Sometimes these two can be combined together and pyramids of biomass and pyramids of numbers and food chains. Now these are really, really solid four mark questions. What I suggest you do is you prepare a four mark answer for each of these and learn it really, really well. Then if this does come up in the exam, you know that you've got the answers in the bank. The best way for you to do this is by going back over all of the past papers, looking at how the examiners have asked the four mark questions in the past, and looking what the examiners required for the answers for the four mark questions in those previous papers. And this is a really, really good way for you to see what the examiners are expecting. Other things that I think might come up are Stuff to do with population, now they like asking about this because it leads into the ethics, it leads into the experiments, and it can lead into drug trials or vaccinations as well. So there are lots of different ways they could get this in. They could ask about adaptations. Now this could be to do with plants, or it could be to do with animals, or it could be the way that humans affect adaptations. One thing they haven't asked a lot about over the years is hormones. Also related to IVF and health, um, things like heart disease or the nervous system. Now this could come up in a really big way this year because they haven't asked about it very much in the past. Also, you're going to need to know your plants really, really well. What do the various different bits do? How do they change? How do they adapt? So, potential six mark questions are the carbon cycle, drug trials, or genetic modifications, because these cover quite a broad range of things. In the past, they've asked questions about hormones or adaptations as a six mark question, but they did those quite recently. They may decide to do them again, they may not, but I've got a feeling that this year, the six mark question could either be carbon cycle, drug trials, or GM. So, this is my first foray into um, biology videos. I am planning on doing some more for you. So, anything you need, just pop me a comment down below. Do you think I should be making more biology videos, or do you think I should stick with the chemistry and the physics? Um, good luck, guys. I'm really, really proud of how hard you will be working. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to see all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.